Y'all just excuse my voice in this video. I've had the flu for what feels like 178 days, so I may have to edit my voice a little bit in post to get it to sound a little more natural. So I recently did a video on how to create a line boil technique in Blender Grease Pencil, and this is the animation that I created to demonstrate that. Can I ask you this, Steven? Is there a history of depression in your family? Yeah. How far back does it go? Years. Uh, my grandparents were from Europe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't think my family ever adjusted to the time change. Now, this animation was based on the cartoon Dr. Katz because it really relies heavily on the line boil technique. But to create that video, I also had to animate a little bit of eye movement and lip sync. So in this video, I want to go over my setup for creating the lip sync because it's really easy to do in Blender Grease Pencil. And I'll show you how to quickly set that up and then animate it. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe and let's get started. Here I'm in Blender and you can see I have a very limited number of objects in this scene. I have Dr. Katz, which is the background and the main character. So if I click this on and off, you can see what that entails. Then I have a reference image, which I don't need. So we'll go ahead and delete that. And then I have the mouth image. And you can see these modifiers. These are the modifiers that are creating the uh, line boil. So if I hit play, see how that's boiling. So if you don't know what a line boil is, you can look at my previous video about that. It's just a way of creating jittery lines so that the artwork looks more hand drawn because the artist can't match it up frame to frame. So it kind of gives it a natural look. So the easy thing about the lip sync on here is if I click on mouth and then I go down to the data properties. So you can see I have 10 layers and then each layer is a mouth. So one mouth object, which is a grease pencil object, and then 10 layers within that object is how I created this lip sync. So the easiest way to lip sync this is to bring in a mouth substitution chart. So I'm going to hit shift A, go to image mesh plane, and I'll find the mouth substitution chart that I want to bring in. I don't want to mention I'm using Blender 4.3.0 with no add-ons enabled. So just so we're looking at the same thing. So you can see I brought my mouth chart in as a plane. You can see it over here. Click on my middle mouse button and rotate around. And I'm going to click on the mouth chart. I'm going to hit S to scale it. And hit G to grab it and X to constrain it to the X axis. Bring that over. I'm going to hit G again and Y to constrain it to the Y axis and bring that forward to separate a little bit from the background. I'm going to hit zero on my numpad to go back to camera view. Then you see I've got that mouth chart here. Now I know when I look at my mouth chart, I've got my numbers one through 10 and there's 10 here. So I know they sync up to what is over here. If you needed to create your own mouth chart and then number it, that would help uh, be able to look at this. So one thing to keep in mind is if I go over here to the outliner and turn off this camera, then you won't be able to see the mouth chart when I render this. So I'm going to go back to my mouth. If I pull up on this line on the timeline, you can see I now have my timeline. And I have my keyframes for the original animation. I'm going to left click and drag and hit delete to delete those keyframes. Now when you're initially setting this up, after you've drawn all of your uh, different layer mouth charts. And if I click on one of those, you can see on number one, it's opa the opacity is one. If I pull that down, it's now zero. So what I did to create this is I created 10 different layers. And on each layer, I drew each one of these mouths. And I matched my style to the Dr. Cat style. So they don't exactly match up to what this style looks like, but it's the same uh, mouth shape that would go along with these uh, mouth noises. So if I go to two and bring that opacity up, you can see what that mouth looks like. Bring the opacity down, go back to three, bring that opacity up. So again, what I did once I create all these layers is I just went through here, right here, and I clicked that to create a keyframe. So if I click each one of these and hit delete keyframe, we'll be starting from the same spot. Okay, so now none of my layers have a keyframe. So once you've drawn each one of yours, go to the opacity, left click to create that keyframe, and then bring the opacity to zero. 
I'm going to go back to two, left click that. The opacity is already zero, so I don't have to do anything with that. So I'm going to create a keyframe for each one of these. And they're all going to be at zero opacity. So if I pull this up and you see I'm in my dope sheet and I've got grease pencil two. So you can see that's the data properties under the mouth object. So you can see mouth grease pencil two here. So I could rename this if I wanted to. So let's say lip sync layers. Okay. Now if I look over here to the left in my dope sheet, you can see that's changed here. So now I can see all of my keyframes and everything, uh, all my layers are represented. So now if I want to start with my closed mouth, and you can see that up here, that's number one. I can just go to frame one, turn the opacity all the way up by just left clicking and dragging. See, I messed up already because I'm on layer number 10. So I'm going to left click and drag to bring that down to zero. I'm going to click on one, left click and drag, and now I've got my closed mouth. So let me go to the first part of my audio by clicking space bar to play. Can I ask you this too? Okay, you can hear that as I drag back and forth. And it starts with a K. So I've got my closed mouth on. So with that layer one, I want to left click and drag. And you see it automatically creates a keyframe and that's because here I have auto keyframing on. So make sure you turn that on before doing this. So every time you turn the opacity on and off, it'll automatically create a keyframe. So now that I've got that one, I'm going to leave it on the same spot that I turned that off. So there's that keyframe. So I'm going to go to K sound, which is kind of a um, closed teeth. You can see two, K-U-H, K. So I'm going to go to my second layer and I'll left click and drag. You see it automatically create a keyframe and the mouth is open. So if I drag back and forth, And then there's going to be an uh sound. So I'm going to take that opacity down for that one. And I'm going to go to, let's say, the TH sound. So I'm going to go to 9 and drag that up. And there's the I. So I'm going to go to the opacity, drag that down to 0. And I'm going to go to 3 and bring that up. Drag the opacity up to 1. So you can see how easy it is to lip sync using this method in Blender Grease Pencil. You just need a separate Grease Pencil object, all your mouth layers, a chart, and you just drag the opacity back and forth by left clicking and dragging in your mouse. If you have auto keyframing on, it automatically creates that keyframe every time you drag this to one or back to zero. And see how quickly it was I was able to create that. So have you found this video helpful? If so, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.